Good morning, Loganites. So this is already week 10 of Nurse Practitioner School. The time's really flown by. Like this morning, it's a Saturday, and I took a midterm this morning. And I'll have you know, I made 100. But that's not why we're here today. We're here today because I played myself this past week. I, I overthought it. I was trying to be too tricky. Let me tell you what happened. So I have this theory and philosophy class. You know I don't like theory and philosophy. Theoretically, it sucks. It's just the back and forth, the not being able to prove anything. You lose me. You lose me there. That being said, we had an assignment. And the assignment was uh, describe this theoretical or philosophy and this philosophy. And it was logical positivism and uh, process organism. Describe these two. Create your own definition for these two. And then the third thing was you need to pick why one is better than the other. And I thought, I thought to myself, I went, hmm, this could be a setup. This could be a trap. This could be a red herring. So they're saying pick one of the two, but the real answer might be somewhere in the middle. So they're giving you two options, but really you should be saying, well, you know, both have valid points and this is why. And that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. I did not pick either one specifically. I picked out the good points and the good points and point out the bad points and the bad points and then said, these are tools in my toolbox to use moving forward. And that's how I will do my philosophy. And that's how I'll conduct my science. Well, apparently that's not the right thing to do. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's not the right thing to do. Apparently, you're not supposed to think. You're not supposed to think outside of the box. I got a 60 on it. I got a 60% on that paper. I was so mad because I turned all my stuff in early, okay? At least a day or two early, preferably a week if, like, I have it available. So I turned it in, and the guy, uh, the professor for the class emailed me on Thursday. It's due Friday night. He emailed me Thursday. He was like, hey, you, uh, you missed some points here you need to change your submission or change what you did. And that's exactly what I did. I fixed it. I picked one thing to go with and chose that, supported that, and then resubmitted it. And then I got another email back Friday that said, hey, you can't resubmit it. There's no point. There's no box in the rubric for me to be able to regrade things. And I was like, okay, well, then why would you tell me to resubmit it? Why would you tell me to redo these things? Why would you even mention it to me? Because at that point, he'd given me a 60. Got to calm down a little bit. So I said, okay, all right, so let's go through this rubric again. He sent me the rubric, the grading rubric for the assignment, and I copy and pasted an email at each point of the rubric and out of my first submission supported with documentation how my, uh, my submission met all the criteria of the rubric, my original submission, okay? The original submission is important because he said there was no space to regrade or redo a submission. I went, okay, okay, cool. So within your parameters, I'm going to go through here and basically advocate for myself. And that's what I told in the email. I was like, I'm going to advocate for myself like I would for my patients and go step by step why I think I got a bigger, better grade. Now, credit where credit is due, I did miss the whole point of the assignment or the second half of the assignment which was to pick one or the other. But other parts of the rubric were to justify your reasons and provide supporting documentation for your reasons. And I did all of that. So I go through the rubric and I'm like, okay, fairly, I can see an 80. Like an 80 is fair. 70, I'm like, uh, I don't think that's fair. And 60 definitely isn't what I should have gotten. But I sent all that documentation into him and he sent me email back saying, basically, in a nice way, in a nice way, he basically said it sucks to suck. Okay, so I tell you all of this. I tell you all of this basically so you know and I know that this is not like life. Nur this nurse practitioner, this doctorate program is not like life. You can't outthink it or outsmart it. If they say you need to go and list six different items and then tell the color of each item, do exactly that. Put in their actual verbiage for list one. Orange is the color orange. Don't overthink. Don't think it's a red herring. Don't do, don't be like a smart person, I guess is the way to think. They kind of want you to fit in a box. And if you don't fit in that box, 
it sucks. Because, like, up to this point, here's the thing. Up to this point, I've got all hundreds in this class. This is stuff I don't even really think is real science, to be quite honest. This is stuff that I just think is way out there. It's cool concepts and cool things to think about or talk about. But when you start saying this is legitimate, I'm like, "Ah, I mean, is it? Is it? Because that's kind of how philosophy is. Is it really? So that being said, don't outthink yourself. Don't outsmart yourself. Just stay the path. Do exactly as they say and just fit in a box just for the grades fit in the box i didn't do that i and it, it took my grade point average from 100 in that class to a 90 in one swoop man that sucks it's even funny so there's another girl in my class and i'm gonna give her a shout out because she's actually one of the coolest people out there and i wish i wish we'd been closer in the front end of this semester but now i've got her number she's got my number her name is uma now uma I met her at the, uh, like, where you meet everybody and you eat a little bit of food and you meet your professors and stuff. I met her. I was like, that chick's cool. Her husband's a doctor. She's got a new new baby. Uh, she's trying to get a nurse practitioner so they can own their own clinic. I was like, that's going to be awesome. I'm like, that's a cool chick. All right. I thought she was a little too mild-mannered for me. Boy, was I wrong because we're in the same uh, class for another, or another, we're in the same group of another class. And she emailed me and said, hey, Logan, I'm having some troubles with this project that we got to turn in. What's going on? And I emailed her back. I said, hey, I actually just talked to the professor. Call me. And I sent her my number. And I was like, if she's really struggling, she'll see the email and then call me pretty quick. And not three minutes goes by, she calls me. Well, we get on the phone. I tell her what the professor told me and explain to it how she explained me. And she's like, okay, I'm going to back it up in the email just so she knows that I you know, am trying as well. I'm like, great. That's a great idea. Well, then I asked her, I said, hey, how are you doing in philosophy? She goes, I mean, pretty good, but I mean, I've got great grades, but I don't really understand anything that I write after I write it. It seems like bullshit. And I was like, ooh, who is this? This is awesome. So I was like, okay, okay. Well, I told her what happened to me, and she was like, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. I was like, yeah, it is crazy. She goes, well, I'll have you know I'm on academic suspension. Or, not suspension. I don't know. I think maybe, maybe suspension. And I was like, what? You? How? Well, basically, same kind of kind of BS in a different class. She goes to uh, upload the test that's in this weird format. Because, again, everything's got to be special because we're in a doctorate program. And she goes to upload the exam. Or, she goes to take the first exam. And she can't take it. And it was like three hours before the due limit or the due date or the due time, I guess. And she called, she texted, she emailed, she did everything she was supposed to do well within that window of trying to figure out how to take this test. Didn't matter. The instructor the next Monday basically said, sucks to suck. I was like, well, damn, Oom. She goes, yeah, it doesn't stop there because the next week when we had another one in that class, I made sure I could download it, made sure I took it. I was scared because now I've got a zero, a hard zero, a hard zero. And I go take the second test. I take it. And apparently it doesn't upload right because you have to download it, take the test, and then upload it. I was like, oh my god, Oom, um, this is awful. The, what are you doing? Like, the, what did the professor say? She goes, well, again, she said sucks to suck. So now I've taken every other thing, done everything and everything else with the hundreds, and I have a 60 in that class. So who knows? I might not be here next year. I was like, no, no, because she's like, we're having this conversation and she's calling out the instructors on the BS and doing everything like I'm doing. I'm like, why haven't we been closer friends? But she lives in Arkansas. (sighs) Man, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I know I'm going a little rant here, but that's kind of how this whole nursing, this nurse practitioner program has been for me. It's just been like a, like a triumph and then a failure and a triumph and a failure. It's like two steps forward, one step back every single time. Like that's 60. And then this morning I sit here for an hour and a half taking that midterm and I get a hundred. That's a triumph. But then you still have to worry about the stuff that hasn't been graded yet because a, a C is a failure. crazy sorry i went on a little rant there so this next week we've got a few projects we got a few other things going on i'm gonna keep trying to stay in the positive all my grades are still passing however i don't have a's and everything anymore that grade in the theory took me from a to a b in one swoop everything else is a's though uh if you aren't subscribed go and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with me it actually helps me out a lot 
you know, I want to know if you're out there watching my channel. Other thing is, I still, as of this recording, have $100 right here that I'm trying to give away to my first 10,000 subscribers. Now, I know that's a big thing, but if we hit it, I'm giving it away. So, make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch that video where I explain how you can be eligible for winning this $100. So, again, guys, keep your corn... Uh, Always keep your corn on the cob, and I will see you next week.